Now I didn't remember what I said. <laughs> All right, we're here with three um, Avid Senior rock stars to give some advice on having gone through the process of building college lists and applying to the amazing schools that they've applied to, um, waiting to hear back, but just some advice that you would give the Avid Junior class about things to think about um, as they're beginning to build their college lists. Okay, so hi, my name is Arelli. I'm an Avid Senior, and advice I would give is definitely look into the majors and look at the classes for that specific major because you are going to be going to school, you're going to be taking those classes, so you want to make sure that you enjoy them. And also to keep an open mind because the college that I am now going to be attending, um, I did not know about 12 months ago and it ended up being my dream school, so keep an open mind. Hi, my name is Alexa. An advice that I would have is don't stay focused on like the Ivy Leagues and the big like name schools. Um, have be like open to like small liberal schools or like schools that you don't even know about because it turns out that many of those like small schools have better support for you individually like financially um and just like you'll feel more um supported like culturally you'll find the right people um to be supported with and surrounded with uh, hi i'm melanie and then i think even if you don't know what major you want to go into, I would say look into your extracurriculars and activities and then see if there's something in common between all of those and then maybe you'll get an idea of what you really want to do in the future and maybe if it's not something you want to stick with, it can be something you can start off with nice. as you like pick up your like college list. Yeah. What role do finances play in your college list building? A lot. <laughs> the colleges I looked at, I looked at and made sure that they, um, well, the term is called like demonstrated interest. So making sure that they meet a good percent of like the demonstrated needs. So that basically means they're going to be giving you a really good amount of financial aid. So how did you guys do your research? I just looked through the websites <laughs> and then I also went to YouTube. I saw a lot of videos and then Sometimes like the websites are kind of hard to navigate, but you just have to like click in any link to search like the course catalogs, like the archive catalogs, whatever, to like find like literally anything. Uh. Um, going back to the financial aspect, although for me financially, like it's always super important to look at the price, don't let it scare you because you will be applying for scholarships and a lot of those schools have like good, um, scholarship programs um, targeted to like low income and minority students. Awesome. And uh, we're going to close out. Uh, I know, uh, Aureli, you had heard back from your school. So um, where are you going next year? I'm going to Tufts University on a full ride. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> that yeah. quest bridge action. Um, and you guys are, are waiting, right? Like most uh, seniors. Um, where, where do you hope to go next year? Um, probably USC. USC, but maybe more definitely a UC. Awesome. UC Davis. All right. Thank you guys so very much for your wisdom. Appreciate you.